In this quick video tutorial, I'll be going over the new features in the 3DR Solo app version 1.3.0. 1.3.0 is a significant upgrade because it finally adds GoPro control to the app. After you upgrade, you'll notice the new icons and the new button. The icons only exist on the iOS version of the app. On Android, the icons do not, except the camera recording status indicator. It actually is in the app. You just can't see it. When you do record, um, it will start pulsing red. The first icon is the save the camera roll indicator, and that's the iOS option only. Um, when you enable save the camera roll, the icon will be lit. If you disable it, it will be dimmed out. The next icon is the camera status indicator. This is the status of your GoPro. If your GoPro is powered off or it can't connect to the app for some odd reason, it will be dimmed out. When the camera is on or connected to the app, connected to the Solo, it will be lit. And the last one is the recording indicator. When you're recording video, it will start to pulse red. And finally, the camera settings button, which is under the red shutter button that has the icon of two sliders is actually a button. Um, a lot of people have said that they don't realize it's a button and that it's too small. Um, maybe 3DR might want to look at changing that or making it more definitive that it is a button that you can press. But anyway, to get to the camera settings, press the button that looks like the two sliders and it'll bring up the camera settings. So you have two options in camera settings. You have mode and settings. Mode allows you to change the mode of the GoPro between photo and video for now. And in the future, you'll be able to change to, to multi-shot and maybe even the setup menu for the GoPro. Also, you'll be able to switch between the sub modes of each of the, um, the main modes, such as when you're talking about photo, um, single night continuous when you're talking about video video loop and video lapse and then multi-shot you have time lapse night night lapse and burst the next button is settings settings allow allow you to change the settings for each of the modes that you're in right now all of the settings for all of the modes are on the screen at the same time um, I'm thinking that when they add multi-shot mode and the sub-modes that they'll have to reduce this screen to only show the relevant settings for that mode because there's no way that all of the all of that will fit on the screen. So that's most likely what they're going to do. We'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, these are the things that you can set. You have your video resolution, FPS, FOV, Enable, disable, low light. Enable, disable, protune. Change the photo resolution. And select your GoPro model. The 3DR Solo supports the Hero 3 Plus Black, the Hero 4 Silver, and the Hero 4 Black. Um, this gives you full control in the video feed. If you have a Hero 3 plus silver, um, you cannot get control over it. So that means you can't change the camera settings here and you cannot control the shutter button. The only thing that you'll be able to get with the Hero 3 plus silver is the video. So if you are using the Hero 3 plus silver, um, choose other in the GoPro, mo GoPro model settings. If you're using the Hero 3 plus black or Hero 4 black or Hero 4 silver, be sure to choose those models in this setting. Um, the last two settings are the save the camera roll. Um, this allows you to save your video to a low resolution um, version in your um, iPhone or iPad camera roll. Uh, and this will record anytime you hit the record button or anytime the GoPro is recording. So that either includes manually hitting record or what when it's auto recording with the record during shots option. So that, of course, 
will allow you to automatically record video when you perform a smart shot. So when you turn record during shots on and you enter a smart shot, when you hit the play button, it'll start recording. And when you exit the smart shot, um, it will stop recording. So that's it for this quick video. Um, if it was informative, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. There'll be plenty more videos about 3DR Solo coming soon. Thanks for watching.